Hi, I'm Jason Inman, I can read comic books, and that's why I decided to give you who I think are the top four artists of 2014. But before I get that, don't forget to go to Majorspoilers.com, the comic book website where they know that you love comic books, and we do too. Now enough of this jibba jabba, let me tell you my honorable mentions. There are too many artists to distill down into only four, so I had to leave some people off the list, and here are my honorable mentions. Amy Reader for Rocket Girl. Fiona Staples for Saga, and Sean Murphy for The Wake. Now let's get to my number four, Isad Ribic. This is the artist who has defined Thor. He has a great expressive style, and it almost looks very painterly. You know exactly why Marvel has pegged this man to draw their epic 2015 Secret Wars event. If you can give excellent pacing to a fantasy storyline, generally a storyline that most readers don't want to look at, and still make it seem epic and personal and not too dense, that is the sign of a great artist, and that is why he is number four. Number three, Carl Kershaw, who is a hidden gem because of Gotham Academy. He has an amazing cartoony slash gothic style, and he brings an almost innocent yet heartful look to the two girls, the main characters of the series. This is an artist whose artwork you're gonna see all over everybody's t-shirts, and Prince next Comic-Con season. Kershaw is amazing at building scenes that are full of tension. He is able to bring the supernatural to eerie life. He's doing a great job of combining the fun of like a Harry Potter with the gothic of Batman and Lock and Key. And that is why he is number three on this list. Number two, Aaron Cooter, the current artist of action comics, and he is literally a hidden gem. This man does not get enough praise for his work because seriously, he is the best Superman artist out there. He has a fun, cartoony style, but he's not afraid to change it up for depending on the time period of the issue or the scene or flashback. It's that visual variety alone that makes Aaron Cooter a blast to read. And on a plus side, sometimes when he does some of the Smallville scenes, it almost is like his style flashes back to a Norman Rockwell aesthetic. That is why Aaron Cooter, seriously, is the best Superman artist out there. This is an artist that for the next 10 years is gonna have a rise. He is just gonna rise out of the, uh, I don't wanna say ashes, but his career is gonna go places, is basically what I'm saying. This is an artist to look out for. That's why he's number two. And number one, Greg Capullo. He was number two last year, and why does he earn the number one spot? Well, it's because of his dynamic style that Zero Year has been such an amazing read. Not only has he been homaging past Batman periods, but it is the action and the pacing and even the camera angles that he chooses that makes Zero Year seem way more impactful than any Hollywood blockbuster I've seen in the last five years. How he chooses the cut from a close-up to a wide shot is fantastic. His pacing, his dynamics, and his pages are so full of little details that you'd never notice. His character work brings an expressive and emotional side to Bruce Wayne in every page. Simply put, Greg Capullo is the Batman artist out there right now. He is top of the game. And how for so long people have emulated Jim Lee and people have emulated Frank Miller, for the next 10 years, I guarantee you they will be aping Greg Capullo's work in 2014. And that is why he is number one in the best comic book artist of 2014. And those are my choices for the top four comic book artists of 2014. If you agree with me or disagree with me or just hate everything I say, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and go to Majorspoilers.com because they support every one of these videos. Give me that. There it is.